It's a ghost. Is that a boo? Oh, he's cute. Are it's you ready for It's Animal Crossing. Of course he's cute. It's a cute ghost. Are you ready for this? Sure. Hey, a ghost. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV Gaming. This is Neon. I'm here with Squid King. Oh yeah. Oh, and he's ready for the shutdown. He's Yep, but we're actually doing something special. We had a whole thing planned, but we're doing something very different now. By the way, I got my vaulting pole and my shovel and an ocarina and a watering can. I was busy. Uh, but, uh, we're kind of going fast because Geeky found something playing across the river. Okay, now you're you're wearing your mask, and I'm not playing because you're doing social distancing. There he is. What is that? It's a ghost. Is that a boo? Oh, he's cute. Are it's you ready for- It's Animal Crossing, of course he's cute. It's a cute ghost. Are you ready for this? Sure. Aye! A ghost! Oh. What happened? Wisp, please, I haven't done anything wrong, just let me go! A human! A real live human! I've been on this island for a long time, but I've never seen a human. Oh, you just moved here? Okay, well that explains everything. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Wisp. Nice to meet you. I... Well, I'll just be honest with you. I'm dead. Oh, I love the darkness, especially nighttime, but I'm afraid of ghosts. I have some bad news for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Whew, this little run-in with you is me all shaken up. I'm all jiggly inside. You scared some pieces of my spirit right out of me. You. You scared the spirit right out of me. Looks like they flew off when we bumped into each other. You know, you can scare the pieces out of me too, but it's not as fun. No. There's no way I can stay like this. What a pickle. What a pickle. Oh, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but... Could you maybe collect my pieces of my spirit that flew away? You did not read that right at all. I didn't. Otherwise, I'll be like this forever. And I cannot deal with that. Please help. I promise there'll be something good in for it. In what? It for you. In, in it. Are, are you okay? Something good. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm fine. I'm great. I'm great. There are five pieces of my spirit and all. I turn into Voltron. You should be able to find them floating around the island. You'll need a net to catch them. Well, I have one of those. Ghost catching nets. I'm counting on you. Thank you. Save my pieces. Save my pieces. So, a lot was already going to be in this episode, and we were not ready to do ghost hunting. First and foremost, I unlocked the ability to do this. Yeah, so... I unlocked the ability to do this. Oh, so now you've got your... And, notes. the moment you've all been waiting for... Actually, there's two of them. Oh, you got your shovel. Moment one. You've been cheating. You've been playing. And moment two... Oh. Look, everyone, I caught Satan. Oh. I actually caught two Satans. Yeah, one's in your house. Right? Yeah, we'll look at him later. Hang on, I'm gonna release you. No, put him in the hole and bury him alive. She'll just pretend he went in the hole. Yeah. Go to okay. hell, Satan. Heck, go to heck. Yeah, go to heck. It's like so we hell, have but not as hot. We have to find five pieces. Oh, here's a piece. Boop. Oh, I, I messed that up. Okay, we got one piece. Okay. So I really, really hope there's none up there, or else we're completely screwed, because you can't go up there till way later. I like your vaulty stick. Yeah, it's my magic vaulting pole. So there's a lot we have to do today, for once. So yeah, the last couple episodes were kind of boring. It was like fish, fish, mm -hmm. fetch, fetch, fish. Okay, so just a rundown of what I did uh, off-screen. One, I planted this magic money tree. That'll grow soon. Uh, two, remember how Timmy was like, oh, we need these resources to start a shop? Yeah, he's always whining. Yeah, well, I gave him the resources, and now they have a shop built. Ah. Uh, Blathers only needs one more item to open his museum. Wow. You've been busy. Uh, I built all this. I have a shovel now, so I can die happy. Uh... But you caught Satan, so you're yeah. less likely to die. Yeah, I, I I caught Satan in and he's in my house now. We're roommates. <laughs> um. Okay. I really, really hope there's no pieces up there. 
Otherwise, we're screwed because I can't you need like find a ladder? anymore. What do you you need do you a ladder, but you don't get a ladder till way later in the game. What's that over there? Is that a balloon? Yes. Do you want to wait for it? How how long is it gonna be? Oh, not very. Let's just knock it out of the sky and okay. get whatever is inside. Okay, now you've got a slingshot you can hit the... Person. Yeah, and I got a little log backpack. Look at me, I'm freaking adorable. Yes, you are, and you're practicing social distancing. Kind of. I went to a deserted island, that's close enough. Yeah, it's just animals, not people. There we go. There's no bats on the island, though, right? Nope, I'm not sure. yet. Okay. What did we get? Open. We got a rat in vanity. A rat? <laughs> no idea what that is, but we'll find out soon. Let's see here. So yeah, I did a lot, because I have a problem. That problem being I really like Animal Crossing. Hmm. Okay, let's look for the rest of his soul pieces. Slowly. We haven't been on this side of the island before, I'm just not realizing no. that. No! There's all these weeds everywhere that I didn't get a chance to pick up. Can you craft oh. a lawnmower? Oh, there we go. There's one right there. Oh. Vault to get the ghost. I really wish you could craft, like, a lawnmower or something. Or, something. Yeah. or maybe, like, a scythe. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. I caught a wisp spirit. This is the second piece. So we need three more. This is very Ghibli-ish. So they kind of just float around, I guess. Yeah, you just have to go find them. There's, oh, oh there's two. Hang on, How are you gonna get them when they're in the water like that? Yeah, come, on, come on. I wish you had a harpoon that would harpoon ghosts. A ghost harpoon. A ghost poon. There's, okay. Okay, we, so the fourth one's right across the river. It's going over the river now. Okay, so if you can intercept it. Intercept that ghost piece. Oh, there you go. That's the name of my new heavy metal album. Are you kidding me, you sneaky little ghost piece? <gasps> oh, that's him. I thought that was the last one. Oh, uh, no, they're gonna make the last one really hard to get, you know? They always do. Get the... get the... There we go. One okay. more to go. So, while we're looking for the last one, I better give you a rundown of everything that I did off camera, because nobody wants to watch me chop trees for 35 minutes. Yeah. This is my house now. Yeah, you've got a house I now. planted my peaches. They're right here. Got the barbecue. I got the bar- I kept the barbecue. Let's see, what else do we have? That barbecue's got meat on it, by the way. Yeah. Peter will hate that, but it's Uh, nice. here's- oh, there's a last spirit piece right there. Here's Nook's Cranny, which yes, I opened. So that's Timmy's store. That's Timmy's store. And it's open till 10 o'clock, so we have 30 minutes left unless I cheat and reset time. Nobody does that in Animal Crossing. There. Okay, that's the last one. Let's go Let's go give him his parts back. Okay, before we do this, let's take a quick little look around. Oh, wait. I planted these trees to beautify okay. our plaza. Freaking I'm going to plant a money tree. Hang on. Freaking buck. Look, I dug up 1,000 bells. Whatever, replant them and get 3,000. I forgot you could plant money in this game. You have to do it in the glowy hole, though. In a See, glowy boom, tree. There you go. Okay, what else did I do? Here's Blathers' this tent. We'll go in there later because we have to turn in the last thing. There's Cat being ugly. So let's see what else. Um, oh yeah, I didn't catch it on camera, but at the start of this day, Tom Nook got a phone call. Somebody else is planning on moving to the uh, to the island. I thought so it was the IRS. Was the IRS. The IRS. Okay, Wisp, we Tom have Nook. your pieces. You did it. You did it. You found my spirit. Now I can turn into something horrifying and eat your face off. Like a Final Fantasy boss. <laughs> Come on, hand them over. Hurry. Oh, I like how we can say nah. nah. I'll give him to him. He's cute. He couldn't possibly eat your face off. Hmm. Ta-da! Back to normal. Thank goodness. Thank you. I feel wonderful. All right, I need to give you the reward, I promised. Close your eyes. No. What's, What's it going to be? I don't know. Some type of clothing. Really? That's, That's it? Lame. 
something you don't have or something expensive? How about well, something I don't have that's really, really expensive? How about something expensive? Because we're, we're so early in the game, something we don't have is such a broad spectrum. Yeah, of I would go with expensive. Something expensive. A little, no, no, a lot on the expensive side. Hmm. Oh, that's not reassuring. I don't have any. Bottom rimmed glasses. What? what? <laughs> no, don't put it in my pocket. <laughs> At least give me contacts or something. Jeez. Bottom rimmed glasses. Where where are these bottom rimmed here? Bottom rimmed glasses. Where? Wow, look They're at me. I look glasses. like a librarian. <laughs> you got granny glasses. Hang on, I need to take off my stupid mask. Wait a minute. No, you don't. You'll you'll turn into a ghost if you take your mask off. Oh, uh, that's funny, but I'm not going to laugh because he gave us bottom ringed glasses. All that for a pair of crummy glasses. No offense if you wear glasses. Neon yeah. wears glasses. I do. And he looks like Fillmore. I do. Whether or not you see Fillmore as a hero is totally up to you. Wow, that was disappointing. So we got mail. Yeah, that's that's basically this game. From Daisy May. Who's Daisy May? I don't know who Daisy Does May is. Does she want to move into the town? I don't know. She... Dear Clown Town folks, I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips, just the way my grandma used to. Be seeing you, Daisy May. She's a turnip merchant. That's a respect. Oh, also, I got my Florida Man Flamingo. Oh, good, finally. Hang on. It's going to go one. right... I'm saying right here. Let's see, where is he? Where's my... Here's my Flamingo. Open. Place. Place item. Boom. Mr. Flamingo. Wow. That is incredibly disappointing. <laughs> I love it. I'm just going to go moon bathe. But what about, what about bladders? Ah, uh, yes. Let's go. I got a lot of fossils I dug up, and then I have all these. I got wasps, and I got a paper kite butterfly, and a wharf roach, and a yellow perch for some reason. Hmm. I did a lot of stuff. I see this. I also have an ocarina. Shh, listen. Cool. Will you be able to play some Zelda songs on that ocarina? This is quality content. <laughs> um, yes, that test of the emergency broadcast <laughs> system. So okay, no here test. we go. Let's go talk to Blathers and open his museum for real. It's not like all the businesses in the country are shut down or anything. But to, to, to open the museum, we have to wait nine to ten business days. What? No, I don't know. You probably have to wait like three days, oh, though. Oh, it's Blathers. I remember that little bastard. Good evening, Driscuit. I don't know what he sounds wow, like. Wow, not that. Thank, thank you for visiting. That's better. Please let me know if you have some items to donate or you need some assistance. I am here to help. You Ooh. gave him a brain injury halfway through. <laughs> he had a stroke talking to us. <laughs> uh, okay, assess my fossils. What well, would you like me to assess them on a letter? Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six fossils. Ooh, more than one, I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Ooh, hooray, I found something that's not yet part of our Steam collection. It's magnificent. Indeed, you have a talent for finding the finest of fossils. I'm terribly jealous. I only hope I can convince you to donate these and help expand our little museum. Look at those creepy eyes. Look at his left eye. Look at him. Hi, caramba. He's, he looks like a predator. In the meantime, I shall return them to you, but do think of what I said. Woohoo! Let's see what we got. Okay. Take your eyes out, kid. I'm fine for now. I want to see what we have first. We need one more. I donated the other 14. We have a left megalo side, another left megalo side, a spino skull, a diplo pelvis, 
a dinosaur track, and an Archaeopteryx. The entire Archaeopteryx. I'd give him the whole thing. Let's give him the ones I don't have. Please let me know if you have some items. I really want some items. Okay, I'm gonna make a donation. I like donations. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? Let's see. Archaeop- Oh, I want more than just the Archaeopteryx, but have the Archaeopteryx. Ooh, hoo, hoo, could it be? It is. Oh, an Archaeopteryx. She's like the Mad Hatter. But like on more LSD. Oh, oh. I never thought I'd lay eyes on such a well-preserved Archaeopteryx. You're just giving them too much of a lisp. You're changing it every second. <laughs> Dear me, I might give you a short present. Wait. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Dear me, I might give you a short presentation on the topic. I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. I think the Mad Hatter decided he was done faking his speech impediment and went full on like, like, okay, here's the deal. Okay, you know what? I want you to read more of what he says. So here's a presentation on what an archaeopteryx. Wonderful. It's fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, why the begin? When <laughs> he sounds drunk. Archaeopteryx is feathers led many people to believe it was the progenitor of the birds of what? <laughs> it what? Sadly, further evidence indicates it's likely not a direct ancestor, more like an evolutionary uncle, if you will. Every time a specimen is found, a new theories po uh, new theories pop up, and new relatives come to roost in the family tree. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff. No? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. I do believe this means... Yes, huzzah, hooray! Oh, come on, be more enthusiastic than that. <laughs> it sounds like you just pulled him out of the dumpster behind the Denny's. What was that? <laughs> no, stop! We have acquired the number of specimens required. Can you imagine, like, celebrating, like, <laughs> Happy birthday, Jimmy! <laughs> The Rectorist. At last we can submit our application to build a proper museum. He's just getting worse every second. <laughs> He's been drinking. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, my. I must make haste and prepare, prepare for the museum opening. <laughs> There's so much to do, hootie who. Oh, gosh. I'm going to squirt in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can feel my tumbly rumbly. Thank you so very much, Trisket. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom now. I'm not gonna. You don't deserve any more fossils. Peace out. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> okay. So I don't know what he's doing now. So Did we get a coffee shop in this one. City Life had a coffee. Shop. Oh, because do you want to watch KK play the guitar? I like KK playing the guitar. Well, we don't have an actual KK, but I do have a pinup poster of KK on a motorcycle. But that's interested. not the same thing. So how are you? How long is it? Well, the construction is about to begin. And I cannot accept new donations at this time. However, requests for fossil appraisals are still most welcome. I'm uh, fine. Assess my fossils. I'll be here tomorrow due to construction. Okay, bye-bye, Blathers. Yeah. <laughs> Should call you Belchers. I'm gonna drink this here whiskey and think about my fossils. Okay, hang on. I just wanna see. Let's look at a Diplo pelvis. A <laughs> Diplo pelvis. You should just leave it in the middle of town. No, I'm gonna take my Diplo pelvis and sell it to Timmy because I'm sure he's qualified. He's That's gonna, terrifying. He's gonna put it on eBay. Friendly reminder that this is in an Animal Crossing game. Oh, I'm playing an ocarina. I was like, what is that noise? Stop playing an ocarina, man. Put it away. Ah, yes. Animal Crossing. I still can't believe all we got was bottom-rimmed glasses. Maybe they're magic glasses. What is a left Megalo side? Oh, wow. That it's like is... It's an ancient moose. It's beautiful. Let's see, we got that. What haven't we looked at? Dinosaur track. I gave him a dinosaur track, too. Oh, okay. 
Wow. Exactly what I thought it would be. You need to find Bigfoot. They should have Bigfoot in this game. They have ghosts. They, need Bigfoot. they should have aliens abduct you. And take you on a cute little spaceship and give you a cute little anal probe. What? Okay. In New Leaf, if you turned on your TV at exactly 3.33 in the morning, mm -hmm. an alien would come and talk to you through your television. I didn't know that. See, I didn't play New Leaf. Okay, really quick. We have a lot. Let's go inside my house. Kids, if anyone says that to you and you don't know them, run. But it's me, so it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's Bach, you definitely run. Yeah. Oh, yes. I forgot about this. Oh, here's my KK pinup poster. KK the dog, not Kathleen Kennedy the producer. Yeah. Um, so here's Satan. Satan is in in the terrarium. I like I like that KK is doing an evil Knievel. Yeah. And is jumping flames over yep. Satan. Oh, you're right. He should be over Satan. Hang on. Let's change that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have a lot of stuff in storage. I see this. You've got a toaster. I have my straw coat. My number 10 pants. All my other uh, glasses, which I don't need. And the Clownfish TV hat. Yeah, let's talk about that. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, I spent a grand total of like three whole <laughs> minutes making this beauty. It's, it's Bubbly Steve. Uh, bubbly Steve with a big chin. <laughs> It's bubbly Stefan. <laughs> okay. So hang on. Let me... I want to... I'm going to put KK... I'm going to put KK... Why don't you talk as bubbly Steve Stefan? I'm going to put KK over my Satan. I don't know what bubbly Steve even sounds like. I don't think he talks. I think he just goes glub glub. Well then, glub glub is Stefan. Glub glub. Okay. I don't know. Keep going. Uh, glub glub. What's a return vanity? Don't no don't care, but it's going right there. There it is. It's it's a rattan vanity. A rattan vanity. Rattan vanity right can I like change my clothes? Yes, I can. Change it up. Oh no, it's literally the exact same thing my mirror does. That's disappointing and unnecessary. My house is very quiet. I'm not a huge fan of these glasses. Do they have those little, oh god, what were those horrifying little inflatable things that made noise? I know what you're talking about. They weren't inflatables. It no. gets worse because those are based off of something of the same name, but I forget what they were called. But they were typically buried with the dead in like 18th century Japan. Oh, okay. So, in People case, are going to be in the comments and be like, I know what they're called. I forget what they're called, but they all made like weird noises mm -hmm. and they were creepy. We got more Nook Miles. Oh, okay. Well, that's a Nick Miles. Do they have a ghost punch card? Yes. Oh, pfft. yeah. There you go. Oh, wait. We get to meet him again? Ten times? Ten times. At least. Okay. Um, let's see. So is the game over when you, you max out your Nook Miles? I don't know. You, you get like infinite Nook Miles. Platinum member or something? But, I don't know. Don't ask me. Uh, why don't we go to the store? Because we only have 10 minutes left to go to the store. Okay. Let's go to the store before the store closes. It's not like Walmart. It's not open 24 hours. Nope. Ooh, we got a beep. Ooh, more Nook Miles. Horde reward. Horde reward. Oh, we get stuff for getting stuff in our house. Yeah, a lot of Nook Miles. Yeah, I got 1,000 Nook Miles. That's a lot of Nook Miles. Oh yeah, so in case you didn't notice, I also paid 5,000 Nook Miles to get my inventory expanded. I didn't notice, but... Let's go to the store. It's down here. I'm still living in a tent down by the river. Yeah, I plucked all the weeds on this part of the island. That's some dedication. I never pluck the weeds. Unless I well, need money. Well, okay. I want a lawnmower. Or get, like, a cow person to come to the island and be like... Buck's a horse? Oh, oh it's hey. the Abel sister. Yeah. Just one of them. One of them. I was worried when I heard... And they're all southern for some reason. I'll give her a different verse. I was worried when I heard you were all moving to a deserted island. But this is much nicer than I imagined. So nice, so nice. We've been here for a little while. It's really coming along. 
Seems, seems we make new discoveries almost every day. We moved here because of our jobs, but we're having a lot of fun, too. I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came here today to check in on all of... Er, blah, 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 blah. I came in to check in on all of you and see if you needed any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help wherever we can. Any island ideas come to mind? To kind of Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Yes. Oh, hey, I think. Whoops. I think. I think you should just stay here. Sir. Something come to mind? We have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having the shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but we still need a clothing supplier. Hmm. Aha. Something tells me that today is your lucky day. As it turns out, it's really not that difficult for us to get to this island. How about if I stop by every so often to sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh, wow, you really mean it? Resins will be so overjoyed. So overjoyed. Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. What are you selling there, Mabel? I suppose with that settled, I should head home to work out the details with my sister. Please do that. We can't wait to see you here again. Bring your crap next time. We don't get spoken to. No. She saw our hat and ran. She's a clother after all. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Waiting. Thanks to your help, we've opened this amazing new shop. New shop! A shop is named in honor of a shop. Our beloved present Nook. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. As you can see, we're offering ready-made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. What, you can't craft a, a film projector? <laughs> Amateur. Also in the back cabinet, with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. We hope to fulfill all your shopping needs. Wow, okay, so we have a popcorn maker and a toaster. With little faces on them. And a box. Lots of useless crap. Is can I Is that a sell... Baby Oh, right. Three new services. Let's talk turnips. Okay. Heard the turnip market's about to take off here on the island. You'll probably see a turnip seller soon. Oh, that's her. She's selling turnips. What is her name? Daisy May? Well, we had Mabel. It's the Abel sisters. No, I know Mabel, but the one that sent us the oh, letter. Daisy May, the term. Yeah, or, yeah. I, I think that yeah, was I her think name. Yeah, I think that was her name. We'll buy any turnips you have on hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon. We don't accept turnips on Sundays. That's the Lord's Day. That's the day the turnip seller visits the island. And I didn't know uh, Nook's Cranny ran on Chick-fil-A rules. That's just wild. <laughs> it's it's Chick-fil-A. Second new service involves a hot item of the day. Hot turnips. The hot item will change every day. You bring one in to sell, we'll give you double its normal price. Like it hot. You can check the hot item of the day on the sign in front of the shopper by asking us directly. I don't think weeds are going to be a hot item. No. And the last new service we're offering is a drop-off box. You can find it in front of the shop. Say you're in a hurry or the shop is closed, you can just drop off any items you want. Easy, right? I'll pay you later by sending the funds directly to your bank account, and I should mention a few things. There's a handling fee, and we don't accept turnips. And hot items will be. We'll, we'll sell just for their regular price. I think that wraps it up. I'm confused about the turnips. I, I think the turnips are like cocaine. Are they all like little turnip addicts on this island? I don't know, maybe. I want to sell. I want to sell my stuff so I can get more money. Okay, let's see. I don't need this. I need... I only need one of these. I turned in this. So these three are new fossils. Also, he said these were expensive, so I'm going to sell my bottom-rimmed glasses because I don't want them. Sell them right off your face. Um, let's see, what else don't I need? I think that's it. I shouldn't have let Satan go. He was worth 8,000 bells. Yeah, why'd you let him go? I don't know. You shouldn't have let him go. It was a bad idea. Okay, well, there you go. Guess how much it's worth. It's our favorite game. I'm saying 4,000 bells. Okay. 4,050 bells. 
5,575 bills. A little I was, off. I said 4,100. Oh, closer. well, you're closer. P price is right rules. I win. Okay, so let's see what we have. A film projector, a sink, a popcorn machine, and a toaster. What about over here? I'm curious about what's in the cabinet. Here's what we have today. Today. Okay. Oh, we can buy an actual umbrella. Hmm. Yeah. And a party popper. And a pink wrapping paper. And that's about it. Impaired. Even though I do want to get this. Test your DIY skills. Ah, okay. Because I want more stuff. Don't we all? We all want more stuff. All right. Zap it to your phone. And we're done. Not today, Timmy. I'm not actually, yeah, I want this. I want one, Timmy. Any more than that, and that would be excessive. Mmm. You don't want to hoard. No, I don't want another one. I've changed my mind. You don't need to hoard party poppers. Okay, let's go do a party popper, and then we can see what we learned. No, thank you, Timmy and Tommy, for following me around and generally just kind of existing. Is that live bait in that little box? There's a little board out front, though. No, is this the magic turnip board? Is that the turnip board? Hot, wait, today's hot item is what? A stone stool. I you can had, make that. You had stone stools. And I sold them before. So let's see what we learned that's new. Wow, look at that. We can make a wooden block stereo <laughs> and rocking chairs and a bookshelf and a block chair and a swinging bench and a mountain standee and whoops and and a ring toss and potted ivy. Kind of like the ring toss. Can you play ring toss? I mean, I'm assuming we need wood and softwood. We'll get and for this, we need block toys, which... Can I make? I need softwood. There's a lot of wood involved. Mainly because it's all made out of wood. That that usually does tend to be the case, yes. Do you want to collect wood? Get some wood, make some stuff. What else do you have to do? Blathers is... We have to wait for blathers, so it's going to take at least two days. Or a day from now. Unless you use the unholy nature of time travel. Oh, oh no! Man. Well, that was a good axe. Too. Yeah, that lasted a very long time. You chopped too much. Let me go make a new one with my own DIY bench. Hmm. Let's a craft. Okay, we have to make a flimsy axe first. Yeah. So first we have the flimsy axe. I do wish there was a way to bypass a lot of these text blurbs, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need more wood. That's disappointing. Actually, I think I have some in storage. Mm. Isn't that convenient? That is convenient. You need like a little warehouse or something to keep all your crap in. My house is a little warehouse. Look at this. Hmm. Well, I can store 80 things, but right now it looks kind of... So here's my soft wood, and the regular wood. And then I'm gonna put some, some extra stuff in here. Let's see, what can I stick in here? Oh wait, we have to use this. Hold. I caught Satan! <laughs> okay, now that's over with. Uh, let's see, what can I stick in here? I'll put my doctor's mask in here. And that's it. Okay, so now... We can go outside, and we can get uh, a, a stone axe, and then we can get to chopping for real. Okay. This is Animal Crossing. Lots of I kind of underestimated how long it would take to get through all the interesting stuff. Severely underestimated. Now I have a stone axe. Hmm. Now I can craft and chop and chop craft and craft. Away.
So why don't you tell everyone how geeky is playing Animal Crossing? She now? is. She's 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 playing Animal Crossing on the Switch Lite, and um, but the, I don't like what Nintendo's doing, where they're like everybody. Like if you actually want to be in charge of your village, your island, you got to be the master account. They did that with New Leaf too. Yeah. Uh oh. 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 No, oh, there you go. Boom! Caught him. Just a wasp. A wasp. The other 500 got away. <laughs> but I, hey, I got him. But at least you got him, yeah. I, I had a, a yellow jacket stuck in my shirt one time, and Geeky tried to kill it. But all she did was hit it and make it mad, and it stung me about 50 times. That kind of happened to me that one time with my hoodie. Yeah. At the park. Oh, I remember that. We were at the park one day, and I felt a, a tickling in my neck. And so I grabbed my hoodie and I was like shaking it like, what is that tickling in my neck? Because I thought it was like a fly or something. Or a hobo. Sure, a very yeah. small hobo Secret of Ariadne style. No one ever talks about that movie. People should. It was a good movie. It's a good movie. Forgotten Ghibli. Anyway, anyway, it was a nasty... Uh, so I was like, movie. what is that? And my neck started to, you know, burn. And I'm like, uh-oh. And then it started to really burn, and I'm like, uh-oh, uh-oh. And then my neck started to burn all over. And at that point, I was screaming, and I'm like, oh my god, help me. And and I think it was you, I went up to you, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, fam, I think I got stung. And you're like, what? No, you didn't. And then you lifted my hood, and a wasp flew out. Yes. And my neck was a mess. Yeah, I remember that. You almost got bit by a snake at the park. Yeah, we don't have good experiences at our local parks. No, we have lots of parks. Though. We have, okay. Our town is weird. We have 10,000 churches and 10,000 parks. And it's not a big town no, at all. It's, yes. Like, you can go down pretty much any major street in this town, and there'll be at least... I'm trying to think here. Holy crap, I think on, like, the main street alone, there's, like, 10 churches. There's if you a just lot keep of churches, going. yeah. It is never end. Think about it. Think about how many churches are just on that one road. There are a lot of churches. Yeah. And there's a lot of parks, though. I mean, for the size of the town, it's nice that there's there's a bunch of parks. Yes, yeah, so you have options between Wasp Park and Black Snake Park and um, Pink Eye Park. Oh, I, yeah. Pink Eye Park. I remember Pink Eye Park. Pink Eye Park's where I got Pink Eye. Yeah. And then we all got Pink Eye. Yeah, because I got it. I wiped my eye, eye juice all over everybody, and that's, that's how everybody got Pink Eye. I got bad, too. I get pink eye bad. So this is Animal Crossing. You yep. chop chop trees and you gather wood. And oh, crap. More bees. Uh-oh. 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 You better run. You better run. You better run. Nope, wasn't fast enough. Oh, man. Now your face is all messed up. You got pink eye. Ah, well. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Let's craft. Let's craft more things. I want to make ring toss. Let's see, where is that? Right there. Right here. I don't here. know if you Ring can play toss, it. Craft. Or is it just a thing that just Let's sits do it. on the ground? Probably a thing that just sits there. It'd be fun if you could actually... Animal Crossing. Don't expect too much. Mm. Like the Sims, they can actually interact with their Yeah, junk. I'm going to make a bench, because I kind of want to have like a nice little relaxation area. So I'm going to make a swinging bench. So you can swing and barbecue and ring toss, just like Florida Man. Yeah. Yeah. Made a swinging bench. Okay, we'll say we're all done. This looks like a good spot for ring toss. Right? Sure. Just for now. Temporary okay. ring toss location. They should have natural disasters in this <laughs> game like they do in the in, uh, SimCity. Can you play it? We'll find out. Is nope. It is literally nothing. But that's disappointing. 
Wow, now I can pretend like I'm playing ring toss. But it's wooden and the sand is brown and it just looks like a sand penis. It doesn't. No, it looks like a sorry piece from the game. Sorry. It does. It's like not. It's not. It's just not. See, The Sims would actually play it. Yeah, they would, but that's The Sims. And then they'd get bored with it, and then they would complain about how bored they are with it. And then you have to buy them more toys so they could get bored with those toys. And The Sims, they just whine all the time. At least we have a flamingo. He doesn't do anything. Either. No. No, he does not. He keeps his mouth shut because he knows where his place is. I don't even know how, but to, to, okay. Um, let's see. Who could? I think Cat could use a nice wooden swing in front of her house. I think Cat just goes to the water and stares at it all day for a job, and then she goes back to her house. This tree is bothering me. Hang on. I'm just gonna eat a pear. Does that make you super strong? Nothing suspicious about that at all. Mm. Uh huh. Jk. Womp. Whoa, you just put that tree in your pocket. And now the tree is going right here. I didn't know you could pick trees up like that and put them in your pocket. Boom, tree oh, that's moved. Crazy, okay. So now I'm going to put a swing right here because I just think this house is missing a nice wooden swing. Well, maybe cattle actually have something to do. It probably doesn't actually swing. You probably just sit on it. Probably. Because that would be too much effort to actually make the swing swing in Animal Crossing. You lock her in her house. You push a swing. It just doesn't. Wow. Doesn't swing. Truly, truly incredible. It's so pretty, pretty. That looks nice, right? Yeah. That was a very unsure yeah. Yeah, it does. No, it She's doesn't. a porch. She's a porch cat. She's. What if I put it up against the side of her house? Well, then. I don't know. I can't what really... if I didn't put it by her house at all? What has she given you lately? Disappointment? Yeah, so she doesn't get a free swing. But I don't want to put a swing by my she house. She can go do crap and make stuff and make a swing for herself. But she's mm. not going to, because all she does is go to the freaking stream and stare in the stream all day and think about life. I wonder if that's where she is now. I think she's got some problems. Probably. No, she, she did she, move to a deserted island because of a stick. Oh, yeah, she's she, home. She threw the stick, and that's where her house that's where her went. house was. Okay, well let's go. Let's go. So she her. makes all her life choices. Let's go see Cat. Well, look, she 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 did stuff to her house. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is my character. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not the right voice. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's up with your face? Did you get stung by a wasp? Does it hurt? You okay? Yeah, that can be mean sometimes, or uh, all times. Gotta be careful around them, you know? Um, well, it's kind of too late to be careful now, but you know what I mean, Purdy. You're so ugly. I bet that does hurt, though. If I had medicine with me, I'd give it to you. But tell you what, I'll show you how to make medicine. My mom taught me when I was little. Just get all the stuff for the recipe together, and you can whip up some medicine in no time. Good luck. Mm, Wait, go. she actually did something for me, so now mm. I have to give her the bench. Oh. Crap. Crap darn it. Crap darn it. How about right here? Not too close to her house. Not too far from her that house. That looks good. That's fine. Oh, I know what I can do. Put some flowers around it. I actually already planted flowers right here. Oh. Look at that. I'm one step ahead of you. Tell you what. Here's what I'll do. I'm going to eat another. I'm not going to eat that pear. I'm going to eat these pears first. I'm going to eat a pear. I'm going to learn how to make medicine. And then I'm going to relocate that tree again. You know, I've learned that trying to make your own medicine at home is typically a bad idea. Is this like making meth? Uh, I don't know. Because mm, the cat, you know, and the cat litter, and the, never mind. Here we go. 
Put the tree here. I can't. It's too big. Bam. Tree. Oh. Okay. Hold on. And then I'll... Don't want to hit that. I'm going to move it underneath the tree. Boom. There you go. That looks... Okay. I'm going to get some sap in your hair, but okay. What if I... Move it over one. We're spending way too much time on this bench. Yeah. There yeah, go. good enough. And that's what people do in this game. They spend, like, countless hours, you know, decorating their fake house. <laughs> it's like... Doing fake yard work. I mean, that's that's where we're at, right? People make doing fake yard work. Planting fake trees. <laughs> Planting fake trees. Eating fake animals. No, you're not allowed to do that. I'll have to do that. Speaking pieces. of which, I have to water my fake trees. I'll water your fake plastic trees. They're not plastic. They're ones and zeros. So, if somebody told me 30 years ago that there would be a video game where people basically did, you know, simulated yard work, and that was the game... And be like, you're mental. You need to blow stuff up. That's what video games are for. Blowing stuff up. Getting points. And it's like, no, no, you're going to do some gardening. And then you're going to decorate your house. And then you're going to talk to some talking animals. And, uh, you know, and you're going to do this for years. You're going to cultivate your little island or your little town for years. Maybe ten years. Hmm. This is a nice bridge to say that we bought Mama Sparkles the new Animal Crossing after she was talking about playing the same one for 10 oh, years yeah. and we felt bad. We felt bad because she had the same, she's had the, the Wii version uh, City Folk for like 10 years. <laughs> I think it came out, I think it's longer than that. I think it came out in, I came out in like 2008 or something. I think it's been like that. It's been a while. Should I craft something? Yes. I want to craft something. So how long until Animal Crossing goes all DLC? Because they only come out with these games like every five or six years. So they have to be like, oh, we're just going to add a whole other quest. More craftable crap for 20 bucks. That'd be EA. Mm-hmm. You can't craft this Let's until see. you pay four ninety nine. What do I want to make? Gameplay. Well, the first half of this episode was interesting. <laughs> yeah, now we're making wooden stereos. I don't even understand how that works. Nope. Boom, wooden stereo. Craft me some vinyl. You can probably play KK tunes, right? I'm guessing. Maybe. I, you know, those pictures, the one, like the one I have of KK on my wall, I don't know if they actually do anything. Oh. So, whatever. I want to put my stereo down. Put really your stereo cool. down. Oops, don't want to open Throw my Throw down those miles. wooden tunes. Okay, wait, hang on. Let me... I don't really want that. Move this over. Hmm. Maybe... Put that there. And... Put that here. Throw that in storage. Move this over. Take these. Put them here. Then put this here. Rotate that. Push it up against the wall right there. Realize that I could have left these where they were. Put them back where they were. Perfection. Okay. Now let's listen to some music. Some KK tunes. Whoa, wait, wait. Oh, now you have to. Wait. <gasps> oh. You can't. You've got. Now I understand. That is the vinyl. The record is the vinyl. Yes, that is the vinyl. It's not a poster. It's a record. No, that's not a pinup poster of KK on a motorcycle. That's <gasps> KK's music. So put that music on that record player, man. How did you... Just hang on, wait. I guess you can, you know, you can put albums on the wall. 
Yeah, it's like hang, like hanging them up. Record shops do that all the time. They do. Go KK Rider. Hang on, we need to go, we need to go, register KK this. Go KK Rider. Here we go. Ready? Go. Oh, that's how. Listen. Oh my God! Wait. wait. Here we go. It's like pull. Oh, Listen. Wait, wait, wait. This is amazing. It's supposed to be Common Rider, but it's KK Rider. That's pretty cool. Well, that was fun. That is fun. I think we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah. Can't top that. So don't hang it on the wall. Put it in your stereo. Yep. All right. Subscribe. We'll be yeah. back later. Are you okay? Yeah. Bye.